In today's episode, we're going to be making chocolate bark with salted pretzels and peanuts. First up, you're going to need four cups of milk chocolate chips. This equals out to about two 12 ounce bags. You could use other types of chocolate as well, such as dark or semi-sweet. Measure out one cup of dry roasted peanuts. These are your simple peanuts that you buy at your grocer that are lightly salted. Please note, if you have a peanut allergy, you can always substitute the peanuts for different nuts such as almonds or cashews. The Mighty Pretzel. You're going to need one cup of these. The ones I'm using are pretzels, but you could also use pretzel sticks. Lastly, you're going to be using sea salt. These are large flakes of salt that are going to add just the right amount of taste to your pretzel bark. Please note, don't use table salt. You won't get the same effect and it'll just taste too salty. Let's prepare our equipment. First up, we're going to use a large baking sheet and we're going to cut some wax paper. The wax paper will help to prevent your pretzel bark from sticking to the pan. Now it's time to smash up our pretzels and peanuts into tiny little morsels. I'm using a thick Ziploc bag and a meat tenderizer, but if you don't have a tenderizer, you could just use a hammer or something hard around your house. Next up, we're gonna create a double boiler. The reason we do this is we don't want direct heat touching our chocolate and burning it. So basically what you're gonna need is a small pot and you're gonna fill it with water. Then you're going to place a larger bowl on top. This is a Pyrex bowl, so I know it's safe for high heat. And basically you want this in your pot, but you want the water not to touch it. Mine's barely touching it right there. Yeah, that's not right. My water was touching the bottom of my bowl there. Let's do that again. There we go, that's better. You could also go ahead and forego that whole complicated process and just shortcut with your microwave. If you do that, do it at 30 second intervals so you don't burn your chocolate. I do like complicated, so let's use our double boiler and go ahead and add in your chocolate and we're gonna move it over to the stove. In our house, we're using a natural gas burner. Yours may look different, it may be electric. In any case, the principles of what we're gonna do remain the same, so go ahead and put that on there. I'm gonna be using a medium high heat to bring my water up to boiling point. Once you've reached boiling point, go ahead and put on your bowl with your chocolate chips. And again, make sure you're using an oven safe, high heat bowl. You don't wanna use a plastic bowl or something like that. As your chocolate begins to melt, make sure you stir it regularly with a high heat spatula. That way you can get your chocolate melted uniformly. Use oven mitts to move your chocolate bowl. You don't want to burn your hands. Time to put your chocolatier skills in motion. Leftover chocolate we will use later to drizzle over everything. At this point, go ahead and take your silicone spatula and spread your chocolate out into one thin layer. Evenly distribute your toppings while the chocolate is still melted. Don't forget to add the flakes of sea salt, which will bring out a nice flavor in your pretzel bark. Don't worry about using all of it. Using the remaining chocolate and your spatula, drizzle it over your toppings. Let your chocolate bark harden in the refrigerator for at least one hour. And now it's hard as a tree's bark, hence the name chocolate bark. Transfer to a cutting board before you begin breaking up your bark. Now is as good a time as any to talk about knife safety. My cutting board is a little bit wobbly, so the first thing I need to do is put a wet rag underneath. This will stop your cutting board from wobbling and ensure that you have a safe platform to cut on. Make sure you notify your parents that you're gonna be using a chef's knife to cut hard chocolate. Let's review how to properly hold a chef's knife. Take your thumb and index finger and pinch the spine, choke up to the bolster and wrap your other three fingers around the handle of the blade. Your other hand can be used to carefully apply force as you break up the pieces. There you have it, pretzel peanut salted chocolate bark.